Hi everybody, it's Frank Felvo here from Melbourne, Australia. How are you rock legends going out there? I wanted to do a current song today. This one is called Somewhere Only We Know by Kane. <coughs> it is quite an intermediate song, this guys. There will be some beginners that'll want to do them. Now have a go at this. Now if you can't actually get it, don't get frustrated and give up the guitar because you can't get somewhere only we know. This is quite an advanced song. It's got 11 chords. It's got a couple of bar chords. It's got a half a bar chords. And it's got some passing chords, some very quick changes that we need to go through. What we'll do like we normally do, guys, I actually got my Gibson back at last. It took a while, but it's sounding much better than what it was. It's only, it's only a new one. It's the... It's a J185. Okay, let's start on this song before we run out of time. It's in the key of A, guys. I'll just get a little bit closer that you can see, and I'll bring this down a little bit. There we go. It's in the key of A, guys. Hit from the fifth down, the normal A. The next one is an A major seven. It looks like that. All we do is we have our second finger on the fourth string. The first is on the G on the first fret, and our third ring finger is on the B. Play from the fifth down, that's our A major seven. The next one has got an intimidating um, name, but don't let that fool you. This is called an A sus four major seven. Remember guys, learn the patterns. I'm not playing down music theory. Music theory is very important, but what we want to do is get down the structures and the patterns first. Then we can get on to the music theory, okay? This A sus 4 is basically that A major 7, except we lift the ring finger and put our little pinky on the B on that 3rd fret. Hit from the hit from the 4th down, okay? Or we've got to mute that 6th string because we don't play. Either hit from the 4th, 5th down, or mute that 6th string. So it should sound like that. That's very much a passing chord that we do that leads us into the next chord, which is a B minor 7. Half, do the bar from the fourth, from the fourth down to the high E. There, put our second finger on the third fret on the B. The next third finger is on the fourth. Okay, play all those nice and clearly, guys. Next one is a B minor. All we do is we put our little pinky on the G below on the fourth fret. Okay, so it should sound like that. Okay, the next chord we do is an E sus four. It's very similar to the A, except we lift it up, okay? We have all the E, we have the normal E, except we lift our first, we put our little pinky on the G, okay? We play them all down, that's at our, our E. Then our next one is our E, our normal E, guys. We've done that millions of times. Our F sharp minor, okay? Bring the E minor position from there, bring it down to the, the fourth, Bring our second finger right over that second fret, bar it, lift the second, use our thumb to put pressure on that first string, hit it nice and clear guys. The next one is our second bar chord, our C sharp minor, we, play, we bring our A minor formation down to the fifth, bring our first finger over onto that fourth, bar it more nice and clear. That's our C sharp minor, and the next one is our D, I hit from the fifth down, we don't play the E, the E is a bum note, okay? So we just play the D the way we normally do the D. The next one is a slash chord guy. This is an A slash C sharp. All we do is the A, bar the A, okay, from the fourth down to the high E. Then with our third, we do that F, that C sharp note, which is on the fifth string, okay, on the fourth fret, just in that position. We have to mute the six guys, so it is a little bit awkward. Bring your thumb over a little bit. Make sure we mute that top six string. Should sound like that. Whoops. Okay, guys. And that's our 11 chords. Okay, now what we'll do is we'll do the intro. The whole band comes in this particular section. So it's just like this. One more time. Down. Down. I walked across an empty land. Down. Sh 
change. A, A major seven, full measure there. Passing, B minor seven, passing, B minor. The E sus four, then the E. Okay, what we'll do is, we, without doing the strumming, we'll just do the chords. Da, da, da. Passing. Passing. One more time. Full measure. Full measure. Passing. Passing. So what we've got, that A sus4 is sort of like a very quick right at the end with a very passing chord that takes us into the B minor 7. Then we do our B minor, which is like a very quick uh, we do the B minor very quickly, passing to go into that E sus4. Now what we can do, it's very gentle there, just mute, just mute it, just, just mute, just do down strokes, lift a little bit of pressure off when you're playing, and just do something like this. Up the cross. This is piano driven guys, piano goes all the way through this song, so it's not always going to be easy to play, so it goes... One more time, full measure, another full measure, a passing, passing, then we do that one more time, then we've got the bridge, F sharp minor on the bridge, oh simple things, where have you gone, I'm getting old and I need something to rely on, so tell me when, you're gonna let me in I'm getting tired and I need somewhere to begin Now in the next part we go into the second verse Gets a little bit bright, the band comes in here We can't do the muting We've got to do a little bit more melodic I do something like this It's down, down, up, up Then up, down Up, down Okay, it goes Okay, so that's down, down, up, 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 down, up. So I'll just do it slowly. I'll just do it slowly, I'll go. Passing. Passing. Okay, so just rewind it if you don't get it. It's down, down, up, up. Up, down, up, down. When it gets more melodic there in the second verse. Then we've got the chorus. The chorus goes into, <coughs> excuse me, B minor seven, guys. So take you have a minute. Why do we go into the E? A with the C sharp. Mute that top six string. Then go to the E. Go. Do that three times. Then at the end, just do the B minor, then to the C sharp minor, B minor to the C sharp minor. Now at the end, when it goes, this could be the end of everything. So why don't we go somewhere only we? Again, somewhere only we know, somewhere only we know. Okay, that's quite an advanced song. I'm sure you rock gods will get it. Bros, hang in there. Keep punching. What you don't get, just rewind it. Keep in mind the bridge, the chorus, those slash chords, the C sharp in there. Practice that song. You guys will be right. Keep on punching. We're going to come back really soon with another song. Hopefully you enjoy that song, Kane. If you haven't got it, I suggest you go out and get it, guys. See you later. Bye.